All right, hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna have a little tabletop discussion on why I think the Glock 43X is the Goldilocks handgun. Well, the size of the 43X is unlike a lot of other handguns. It's not as small as a Glock 43, and it's not as big as a Glock 19. Obviously, many of you know that. What I love about the 43X though is that I can get my entire hand onto the grip portion of this firearm without having to insert a magazine, much like many of the nine millimeters that we've seen on the market for a long time. So I love the size, the actual size of the Glock 43X because the barrel and slide length is actually pretty short, that like that of a 43, but it just gives you a lot of more purchase room uh, in the grip area. That way you can shoot the firearm better, handle the firearm better, and feel more comfortable when you pick it up. Okay, so the second reason I love the Glock 43X is the actual weight of the firearm. With its intended 10 rounds, the Glock 43X doesn't weigh all that much. If you were carrying a Glock 19, you would notice the weight difference immediately when you put a 15 round magazine in it. Uh, and that being said, with the Glock 43X, you throw a 10 round magazine and it's not all that bad. It Five rounds astonishingly makes a difference, especially over time when you carry it. Um, so for instance, my Hellcat Pro is actually a pretty heavy gun to carry considering, uh, at least compared to the Glock 43X. So the fact that it just weighs a whole lot less when you're carrying a lightweight minimalist style holster, like something like the Filster Enigma, or if you're carrying all day long, uh, at the three o'clock or an appendix in any, any way, you're going to notice the weight over, uh, hours and hours and. The Glock 43X really lends itself well to being lightweight. And I'll say that again for uh, for something like a chest carry when I'm running. I don't want something that's heavy because that inertia is just, re I'm really going to feel it bounce up and down. Uh, but I, you know, much rather have the Glock 43X uh, compared to other options. And on to my third point, that's what makes this gun so perfect in many occasions is that it carries, it holds 10 rounds. I mean, that's a massive step up from the Glock 43, which was six rounds in one of the chamber. Now it's 10 rounds, one of the chamber, that's 11 rounds. I feel a whole lot more comfortable with 11 rounds and usually a spare magazine than I would with six rounds in a spare magazine because we all know the average gunfight for civ citizens or civilians is around eight rounds. So. I think the Glock 43 is obsolete in many of its counterparts, and I am certainly a believer that revolvers are largely obsolete as well. So the Glock 43X really lends itself well to capacity, and especially for those of you who want to upgrade to the Shield Arms magazine, if that's your thing, 15 rounds. But I'm telling you, when you guys front sight focus and squeeze the trigger, it feels like just like you're on a Glock 19 or something of that variety. It does feel like a, uh, a larger gun when it's shooting when, when it comes to shooting it. Um, the grip angle is a little bit different than that of other Glocks, and it just feels really good when in the hand, especially while shooting this gun, and that's where things really matter. I know a lot of guns that are much smaller tend to be a lot snappier. The Glock 43 is a little bit snappy. The Springfield Hellcats, that variety is, is just snappy to me. Um, so when I shoot the Glock 43X compared to the Hellcat Pro even, I notice that this is a whole lot more manageable. My fifth and final reason I believe the Glock 43X is a Goldilocks gun is because it's a Glock. I know that sounds really strange to say in 2023, but Glock has a pedigree when it comes to dependability. Uh, I know for a fact that the kinks have been worked out in this. It's not like that of a SIG. And I'm not trashing other guns. It's just the fact of the matter. We all know that if we bought a Glock straight out of the box, it's going to work. Uh, I don't have to wait for the next generation to come around. They just work. They have a great reputation. And I know that what if this is the only gun I could carry that I would be completely fine. Um, and I think that's what makes this a true Goldilocks gun. Because I can pick my Glock 43X up and, and say, yeah, this is what I'm carrying from now on, if this is the only gun I had to carry, I would be okay. Uh, I like other guns. I like having other options. I like having um, more rounds sometimes. 
but at the end of the day, if this is all I could carry, I wouldn't feel undergun. I wouldn't feel that I'm um, carrying something too big. I wouldn't really feel that I'm carrying something too small. So I really love this gun. Uh, it really hits all the markers for me. I know there are a lot of great options on the market, especially for some of you first time buyers. If you're looking for one gun to do it all, uh, at least for the concealed carrier, I would say go Glock 43X. I mean, there's a lot going on with this. It's It's got a lot to offer. The MOS versions are now out and you can have uh, a rail which you could put a light on potentially um so you know the options are out there i will caveat this by saying that this is the goldilocks gun for now uh if shadow systems made a glock 43x version of their firearms which i don't think they do at this point in time i believe they could make this gun much better than it is now. So I know that Palmetto State Armory has also became a big name in the concealed carry industry, and that's because of the Palmetto State Armory's uh, dagger. The dagger compact is the one I have, and I really like it. I know that they have came out with a micro dagger, I believe, and it's basically the Glock 43X with 15 rounds. And I haven't picked one up myself. I haven't shot one, but I would imagine that it's probably better than what you're gonna get out of the box on the Glock 43X. And again, if other companies start delving into this size uh, and this frame handgun, I think there's gonna be a lot of progress with the Glock 43X style guns. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any opinion that differs, please let me know in the comment section. If you think there's a, another Goldilocks gun out there, please drop a comment and let me know what that is. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share if you would like